what's up y'all welcome back or to my channel in today's video we're going to be doing a collaboration with julia hair they sent me over this pre-bleached wig this is a lace front 13 by 4 24 inches and when i opened the package of course it came in their signature box it had an adjustable strap that i can sew on if i wanted to and it also had three combs one on the side um, one in the bottom and then one on the opposite side as well as I ran my fingers through the hair straight out of the package I immediately noticed that it was super duper soft like you can see it's just flowing and I'm not even doing too much so in the next clip you guys may look at the lace and figure it's transparent However, when I got to actually applying it to my head, I noticed that it was a light brown lace, so keep that in mind. With all that being said, let's get straight into the video. I don't like to do the ball cap method because it's just too much. I'm going to take some of my foundation. It's also quicker because who has time to sit there and do that and not me? I only do the ball cap method if, I, if it was like my birthday or a special occasion where I really wanted it to look nice but besides that I would rather just do this and of course y'all know makeup just washes off so you don't have to worry about you know messing up your hair or anything but what I'm gonna do is put some foundation on the lace so that I can help blend with my skin a little bit better the hair is already blonde it's kind of bleached but it's not fully bleached, which is the reason why I didn't want to over process it. So I've decided not to bleach the knots, but honestly, it's not that bad. You can get away with just putting the makeup on it and it looks pretty good. I'm about to try it on right now to see how it's gonna look. But the only issue with this wig is that it's a little small for my head and my head is pretty small, so, uh, I didn't expect it not to fit but let's hot comb it so I can start plucking the front area now I'm just going to pluck this area right here in no particular order this time i just want a natural hairline so i'm just gonna pluck until i feel like i like it you're more than welcome to like part it in sections and to do it on a mannequin head before you put it on your head let me zoom in so y'all can see I normally never do this color, so it's really hard for me to like really get the vibe until I'm basically almost done with it. Looking at the wig a little bit closer and in a different light, and I'm noticing that it's not actually transparent. It's a little more on the light brown side, and it's not an issue because I can finesse it, but you guys know that i love transparent lace so this is just an extra step that i have to do which i really wish i didn't but i'm going to take some concealer and this is my tarte concealer in the color medium tan sand first i'm going to take some alcohol to wipe my skin so that the glue can actually stick to it to glue the wig down i'm going to use my got to be glue
a tip that I go by is not putting a scarf around my edges as soon as I apply glue. If I put on the scarf a little too quick, then it will the lace will bunch up and it looks disgusting. Like it does not make it flat at all. So give it some time to dry. I'll say until it get tacky or almost dry and then apply the scarf to really hold it down. So while that's drying, I'm just gonna hot comb the top. I'm going to add some baby hairs, which I really did not want to do, but it seems like that's what I'm going to have to do to make it look as natural as possible. And also, the sides of it don't fit, so now I'm kind of having to treat it like a closure. <laughs> I'm so over the baby hairs, y'all. This is the way I'm going to have to go, because I really wanted to do a middle swoop, but I don't know why it just was not working out for me. There's really no, like amount that you should be pulling from this section is really how much baby hair you want i usually pluck it but it's pretty thin right now so i'm just gonna start cutting and swooping the baby hair guys think this color is so different from me i honestly look like my mom if i have a picture of how my mom looks with this hair you guys will be like Just to give like a rundown on the hair i will say that i did not like the lace the lace was too hard and it also wasn't the color of my skin tone i hate having to work with darker lace it just takes more time and more effort just to make it look nice and i hate when I have to do that. But that's one con about the hair. A pro about the hair is that it's a really deep part in space, so I really do like that. I wouldn't say this is an issue, but I would just say be mindful when ordering your wig that this wig was too small for my head, so I was not able to pull it all the way down and give you guys a full install as I would like to. But that can easily be fixed when you are ordering. Just make sure that you get a cap size up. I prefer to get... A bigger size and a smaller size because you can always work with a bigger cap and sew it down and make it fit your head size however when it is too small it's nothing you can do besides buy another one. I do not get paid to say that this hair is nice or the hair feels good or hair is good and make y'all spend y'all money no I'm telling y'all the truth this hair is so soft really really good hair and the color is on point. You know how sometimes you get a pre-dyed wig or pre-bleached wig and the highlights are not in the same area. It's all over the place. This is very consistent. It really do look like I could have bleached this myself. So if you guys want to buy it and sell it or whatever you want to do, that's up to you. But truly speaking, I really do like this hair. The side parting is not too big. It's probably about an inch for you to do side parts so it is possible to do a side part but what you will have to do is curve it i am super in love with how the actual hair looks like and let me turn to the back so you guys can see how full I've been so blessed throughout these past few months and I really want to bless somebody else so please stay tuned throughout my videos and I will announce the giveaway how you can enter and everything like that I promise you you don't have to pay me it's not a raffle it's not anything like that I'm just strictly giving back to people and just helping people out right now especially during this time that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think about this hair and should i give this company another try and order some more because more videos can come love you guys